All right, guys, welcome to part 10. Um, it's just um, an immediate continuation of part 9, basically. Um, I am going to work on the last three pieces um, of the head crest. Um, these have significant gaps to be filled. And right now I'm just kind of sanding the, uh, the surfaces so that it is a smooth transaction between the two parts basically um, it's not these pieces are not a hundred percent fit correctly so they do require some sanding some filling and that's basically what I'm doing right now um, and the goal for these pieces is to make it flush and uh, put some uh, some glue in between the, the parts make that make that flush and I'm just gonna sand it a little bit so that the glue has a chance to kind of harden out immediately by the dust that the sanding creates same principle as like using the baby powder as soon as the glue comes in contact with any sort of dust anything that it can grab onto it starts to harden out and that'll kind of give me a good base to work from will kind of help me out smoothing out this these two parts to make it look like they're all one piece you could do this with putty you could do this with clay but the sanding is really kind of necessary right now and I'm just gonna use the glue to get it in between those cracks I think I'm just gonna let this harden out a little bit dry a little bit and I'm just gonna continue on with this piece um, then I'm gonna take a old brush and work it kind of in want to wipe it off but so that it is only being left in the cracks then you put your baby powder in to fill that seam line wipe it in you probably have to go over it two or three times to get it perfectly flush but for now this will do get it inside the cracks basically using a ruined brush that is completely hardened out by 
by the, the super glue. I'm just using it as like a tool to kind of move around that super glue and that that powder basically now this super glue is a lot more runny than my usual super glue kind of have to be a little bit more careful a little bit more precise otherwise it's gonna run everywhere where my usual brand just does its job perfectly but it was sold out and I didn't want to wait for them to kind of get it back in stock I just immediately wanted to continue on working and I ran out of super glue so right now all right that powder in and you can already see that it's starting to kind of get filled in perfectly and like I said you don't have to be super precise um, if you if you filled it up and once you finished up fill, filling it up and you, th you think oh there's still like a significant seam line or there's like a visible seam line you're not happy with it you can always go back in with some putty and make it look perfect like for now i kind of showed you guys that for all the other parts i've done so far it really wasn't necessary but you never know there's always gonna you can always run into a part where uh, it, it still might be necessary but sometimes it is sometimes it's not and uh, clean that off Gently go over that. might get some super glue on your finger but and that's part of it right The sculpt really helps you helps you out a little bit because uh, you can see all these ridges and uh, like you can you can see that the sculpt already has like uh, these the yeah what, what are they the wrinkles or ridges or and so you don't so if you're kind of like seeing a line right there uh, the thing is full of lines so it might b blend in perfectly already but as you can see it's already almost already perfect with just a few minutes of work
Now the corner right here is going to be a little bit different, but we've, I've already done something like this in a previous video. I believe that was on uh, on these parts. Uh, so it's nothing new. It's nothing that I can't handle. Like I said in a previous video, um, if uh, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Never mind. Get inside the cracks. Kind of using that ruined brush, basically to try and work it out, uh, work it in into the cracks and want to get rid of that excess. You could use your finger, but this way it's easier. So we almost have like a. seamless transition if I'm gonna sand it right now translucent kind of line that is like the the translucent line is the the glued line you can already see kind of like that it's kind of blending into the other part and that's exactly what we want you want it seamless so that once you put paint on it you don't even see that there was a was like a gap I'm gonna take our cleaning brush gonna dust it off a little bit to get a better look you can see at the end we still need to kind of fill it up but a few minutes of work right now and we already have like a, a really nice and a seam line filled up. Kind of have to kind of uh, see if I can fill this up a little bit better. Right here. And then we get this. Kind of clean that off a little bit. Get some powder and get it into the crevice.
use pots to blend for the cooking. So Now when I try and feel that, that gap, it's no longer there. Perfect. how much you dust it off it will remain dusty until you can uh, clean it off with water you really want to finish it before you start doing that so now we're gonna work on the top uh, let me see yeah that side we're gonna work on the top and we are going to Gently put it like that. Kind of an awkward angle to be working in, but Naren did like an excellent job at um, kind of using the shapes of the crest and then uh, when he needed to kind of separate this part from that part he kind of used uh, certain shapes to kind of make it easier to blend it back in so uh, you, you can see that it's like a wavy kind of effect and then uh, that new part that we just glued on 
uh, is elevated again so it kind of looks like it's supposed to be like that uh, which makes the blending of the two parts a little bit easier because if there's like a drop down or like uh, just a small tiny like um, blending error or something like that uh, however you want to call it uh, it kind of it, it can pass off as like uh, the shape of the crest basically and I think Naren did a, like an excellent job kind of using those shapes uh, I don't you know it, it's it's like very deliberate almost I mean, the trick to making anything look good is to take your time. Don't rush it. There's no need to rush anything like this. And there's no, like a resin kit like this, uh, it's big. Uh, it's elaborate, it's complex, um, I think taking your time, uh, this, this piece earned the right to, to take your time with basically, because it's such a beautiful piece. Now you can see wave 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 and that almost looks like or that looks like it's supposed to be like that perfectly blended Naren just knew exactly where to cut that piece to where to put that separation between the two pieces so that once you start blending the two pieces it looks like it's supposed to be like that and it does so you can kind of use your nail to kind of feel if there's still any gap here I can feel it your nail wants to stay behind that and here it's seamless just to kind of make that perfect so now I got this this corner right here So right now you can kind of, I can kind of feel that there's a, it's not a hundred percent flush. So I want to remember that for last, I'm going to work on that last. Just first want to make sure that these, these pieces are a hundred percent before I start doing the sides. 
basically uh this is gonna be like an awkward kind of situation i guess i gotta work high up mm -hmm. so what i'm going to do is take some glue let it flow and then take some That's exactly shaped the way I want it. I'm gonna use super glue to kind of let that flow over. Go. I want that to dry, and then we're gonna stand. Nara knew exactly where to kind of cut these pieces. It's absolutely amazing how he kind of engineers these pieces like this. I think that's perfectly flush, but just in case, I just wanted to add a little bit more glue and a little bit more sanding. Looks perfect. Like I said, it looks perfect, but if at the final inspection you're like, oh, that, that didn't blend very well, or uh, that still needs some attention, go back in with some putty, make it the way you want it, and then, you know, it's ready for paint. Some powder there. All right. Some baby powder there. step by step 
you want to make sure that you get it to where you want it. So now we're going to sand it smooth. The dust from the sanding will also help any kind of glue that is still kind of wet, kind of dry instantly. I'll let that dry. See, and we're already like 45 minutes in, but we did it at such a you know relaxing pace that um, by doing it slow and and by taking our time we can make it perfect and that's really what we're trying to achieve is is perfection or close to perfection basically so the general attaching the piece is fairly fast but then to like make sure that it's 100% flush it's 100% perfect that will take the most of your time uh, but it's important to take that time you just want to make sure that it's it's correct it's done correctly the top seems perfect Oh, come on focus there we go you can see now we got like a really nice transition so now it's not such a harsh kind of separation it's actually it looks kind of nice right now so that is what we were going for so that corner is done right now we only need to do that one little spot but I am going to take a break I've been at it for two at least two hours uh, I'm going to take a break and I will be back with part 11 I think a part of part 11 uh, either tomorrow or in a couple of days um, when I record these videos or when I do a live stream um, I generally uh, try to edit them the same night that I recorded them uh, and then put them on YouTube either the same night or the day after um, so it, it takes a little bit of time for them to to reach YouTube basically and uh, you don't want to overdo it and do everything in one night and then have to like edit eight hours of video or you know whatever so you want to do them in chunks so yeah um this is for this is it for part 10 I believe I'll see you guys in part 11 uh, like I said tomorrow maybe the next day or you know somewhere in a couple of days 
I'm off to take a break. I'll see you guys uh, later.